Today I would like to talk about preparing a document for print publication and the specific topic today is ink density. When we are pre preparing something for print we'll get specifications and the specifications can show us what we are expected to provide. And right here we see it says four color solids should not exceed swap density of 300 percent. SWAP stands for Specifications for Web Offset Publications, and the reason they don't want an ink density of more than 300% for this publication is because they don't want oversaturation of the paper, which can result in the darker colors becoming really muddied or actually puddling up of the ink on the paper. And so we're going to talk about how to take care of that in Photoshop. An ideal situation is one like this. You have the RGB image that's going to be converted. So you talk to um, or communicate with the pre-pressed people at the publication or the printer and you find out which color profile you're supposed to use for your CMYK conversion. They'll either tell you which one to use or send you one to use or they may even say, uh, we'll take care of that ourselves, don't worry about it. But at any rate, if they tell me which one to use, I'm going to go ahead and make my conversion. Just so we can see what's going on here, we can. this is obviously a dark area in this picture and these are dark areas too. But let's find out where the darkest parts are. We'll just go to the layers and palette and take a threshold layer, scoot our slider over, and we can see where the darkest parts are um, that, because those are the ones that are showing up right here. So I'm going to get my eyedropper tool and get a color sampler. And I'm going to place a sample right where a dark area is. And I'm going to turn off the, turn off the uh, threshold layer. We're through with it. And right here in the RGB for this layer, you can see it says 0, 0, 0. And that means all the pixels are turned off. That is black. That is really, really dark. So now um, I'm going to go ahead and make the conversion. And remember, you're always going to be doing this on a copy. And currently we have red, green, and blue channels. If we actually go to Edit to Convert to Profile, and we are given the profile of US Web Coded Swap Version 2, you can turn the preview on and off, and you can see what's happening with your, with your image. And if that's what I've been told to use, I'll go ahead and make that conversion. And now, uh, where I have this color sampler placed, I have, um, it's now says CMYK, no longer RGB. I can click the dropper here and tell it to show me the total ink. And it says 298%, so that's within tolerance. So that's pretty easy. You know, they just tell you which, which one to make. Uh, you, you can do it. Of course, notice that I did lose a lot of detail. The clouds and everything were, were blown out in this, so you might want to make some, uh, some adjustments and, and uh, work on copies and, and, uh, and, and do this until you can get the, get the results you want. But let's say it's not an ideal situation. We're not going to fool with that right now. Let's just go to the, another situation that's not so ideal where you've been actually given a CMYK document and told that it needs to be used in the publication and you don't have access to the RGB file anymore, or you never did, and um, you need to convert this. Uh, you, you, again, you don't know what the densities are. We're going to do the same thing to find out where the darkest part is. We're going to go to the layers, pop a um, threshold layer on there, we're going to drag the slider to the left, and drag it slowly to the right until we can see where the darkest areas are. And once again, we're going to put a color sampler there and we're going to uh, turn off that layer. As a matter of fact, we can even get rid of it now. We're through with it, so just toss that away. And here is uh, my sampled area. I can use the eyedropper in the info palette and go down to where it says total ink, and that shows me 350%. Well, that's no good. Our ink limit, our total ink density limit is 300, and so we're going to have to reduce that. But um, in this case, you know, I, I do want to maintain all of the all the um, detail that we can see in the sky and the clouds and all that kind of stuff. I don't really want to blow that out. I would have needed to have uh, played with the other image a little bit before making the conversion to, to, to keep that. But in this case, let's just go ahead and select the area that's really dark. I'm going to get the uh, quick selection tool and I'm just going to make a little selection here by my darkest area. And I'm going to go to the select menu and choose similar. And that selects all the similarly dark areas in, in the picture. I don't really want to see these marching ants while I'm doing this, so I'm going to do a Command H to hide, to hide the view of that. And I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, and down to Selective Color. Selective Color is going to let me operate on the areas that I have selected there. I want Absolute Selected rather than Relative. I'm going to choose my blacks here to adjust. 
and I'm going to take the, um, the, the density down in the cyan, magenta, and yellow uh, layers. I'm going to bump it up a little into black. And currently, you can see over here in info, the before and after um, is 350 on both sides because I haven't made any changes yet. But I'm looking to get this number down to 300 or less. So I'm going to start out by subtracting, by putting uh, negative numbers in the cyan and the uh, magenta and the um, yellow boxes, just tabbing through and pasting that in. And I'm going to bump up the black to, let's say, 4. And I'm a little bit over. I'm at 303%. That's pretty close. But let's just see what happens if I go ahead and and uh, take the, the cyan, magenta, and yellow down just a little bit more. I'm going to copy that number, and tab down, and paste it with a Command-V or Control-V if you're using a PC. And, and sure enough, that gets me down to my 300 limit. And I can use the preview, turn it on and off, and see the effects on the image. And if it's, if it's acceptable to me and it's acceptable to the client, I'm going to OK that. And now um, this picture is within the specs for, for color separation for printing.